January 22nd, 1960, at the age of 14, Stephen Truscott became the youngest person in Canada to be sentenced to death. The previous year, he was charged with the vicious murder and rape of his fellow schoolmate, Lynn Harper. Even today, he has maintained his innocence. June 11, 1959, the body of Lynn Harper was found savagely beaten and raped in Lawson's Bush, just south of Clinton, Ontario. The following day, Truscott was taken into custody in connection with the crime. Later that night, Truscott was charged with first-degree murder under the provisions of the Juvenile Delinquents Act, but was tried as an adult. The evidence, which mainly consisted of Lynn's half-digested stomach contents and the questionable testimonies of the witnesses, were enough to land the 14-year-old a date with the gallows. A few months later, much to Truscott's relief, the sentence was lowered to life in prison. After nine years of incarceration, Truscott was finally released on parole in 1969, and although he was a free man, he was still considered a criminal by many, and so began his journey to prove his innocence and receive a pardon from those who have wronged him. On November 28, 2001, lawyers for the Association in Defense of the Wrongfully Convicted filed an appeal to have the case reopened. During this period, new evidence was collected including in-depth study of the larvae found on Lynn's body, and new suspects, such as Sergeant Kalachuk, who was a registered sex offender staying at the nearby Air Force Base. If this evidence had been presented at the 1960 trial, it may have had an effect on Truscott's conviction. It took six more years until the Ontario Court of Appeal finally granted Truscott a pardon. On August 28th, 2007, Stephen Truscott was cleared of all charges, giving him the liberation he had searched for for 48 years.